In this video, I'm going to further define and describe some of these characteristics of rainfall that are listed on uh, the Camino page. So the first characteristic is intensity. And intensity, I'm going to define a little bit more in a minute. But the intensity is the rate at which the rainfall occurs. And it's also considered the depth of rain over a specified time interval. So we'll talk about that in a little bit. The second is duration, which is how long it rains for. Okay, so um, the intensity is going to vary over the time of the storm, but the duration is from the very first raindrop until that last raindrop. The third characteristic is area. So over what geographic area is it raining? And is that rainfall different within the watershed or control volume that you're looking at? The fourth is the time distribution of the rain. So even though there might uh, be, we, we have the duration, which is the total length of time, but within that time, the distribution of rainfall is going to change. And I'm just going to say right here that I'm still getting used to making these uh, videos. So please excuse the fact that these are all different size fonts. The next one we're going to talk about is storm shape and size. And so this is how big the storm is, uh, meaning geographically, for example, sometimes we get storms that go all the way from the north of California to the Bay Area, or sometimes the storm just goes over San Jose. And then the last one is the frequency of the storm and rainfall. We're going to get into this a little bit deeper, and that's going to use your probability and statistics. But we'll, we'll do that in a couple of modules. Now we're going to talk about a little bit more about the temporal distribution of rain. To help us understand a little bit better the intensity of a storm and duration. OK, so I'm going to bring in this set of axes and try to draw on here for us, uh, simulate a, a rainstorm, OK? So I have on my x-axis time and hours, and I've marked it off every half hour. And then the y-axis is going to be total rainfall of the storm. So I'm going to just try my best here to make vertical dotted lines to make like a grid on here. OK, and now we're going to simulate a storm passing by. And so let's say in that first half hour, it rains and we accumulate in that first half hour to half an inch of a rain, okay? And then in the next half hour, the rain increases and now we've gone up to 1.5 inches of rain. Slows down a little bit for a, a little while. And then, and then after it slows down for a little while, we get another large increase in rain to get us to the two hours. Okay, so in the two hours, we've had a total of two and a half inches of rain, but it wasn't a constant rain. Okay, so on the side, on the left hand side, I'm just going to draw over here a cumulative rainfall to show that at the very end of the storm, it has rained those two and a half inches. Okay, so again, going through the time in that first half hour, We've gone up to half an inch of rain, and then it rains faster, so that in the next half hour, I've gone up to one and a half inches of rain. Then it slows down a little bit, and then increases and increases until we've hit the two and a half total inches of rain. So what's, in, so what's really important to note here is that rainfall intensity in a single event, in a single storm, can vary and usually does vary over time in a single event. And so this graph above is the rain, the temporal distribution of rain, so how much rain it is raining, the cumulative amount of rain in that storm. And so to get the intensity of that, the intensity 
is going to be the slope of that line. Okay, so we're interested in the intensity. We want to know how much it rains per hour. So that is the slope of that line. If we make a figure of the intensity, we call that a rainfall hyetograph. Rainfall hyetograph is going to be more like a bar chart. So I've tried to line up these axes right underneath the previous one. Did the best I could here. And so if I try to estimate, we know in that first half hour, the intensity, we got half an inch of rain in half an hour. So that has an intensity, right, of one inch per hour. And then it sped up, and in the next half hour, we got a full inch of rain. So that would be an intensity of two inches per hour. It slowed down a little bit after that for maybe about 15 minutes, and then it sped up a little bit more. So maybe then it was up here. For the remainder of the time, right? Okay, so this is what a rainfall hyetograph is, and it just shows intensity in inches or millimeters over time versus the time. So moving forward, your next assignment is going to be to record an audio recording of yourself uh, defining rainfall for me and describing at least one of the processes in the videos that you watched. And then next we're going to move into talking about how rainfall is measured, which is very important so that uh, water resource engineers and hydrologists know how much rain has actually fall, falled, how much it has rained, and can plan.